Hey guys, welcome to the Wave Crypto Club. We talk about all things crypto. If that interests you, subscribe to the channel. Where do you get your news, right? Especially the crypto news. Well, if you are reading it from just you know the notifications that you get, then I suggest a much better place for you to get your daily dose of crypto, and that happens to be CryptoPanic.com. So I get my news from CryptoPanic.com. This is a news aggregator. It aggregates uh, news from all sources around the world, from a lot of sources around the world, um, and they send it to you on a. You know, you can subscribe to the Telegram channel so you get their frequent updates and so on. Uh, I have compiled the most important news that has happened in the last few days, so that you can understand uh, what is the impact that it will have on you as maybe a crypto investor. Right? What is that news? Let's start with Bitcoin itself crashing at close to eighteen thousand now. So what's happening? A lot of addresses who had purchased Bitcoin are today in loss, right? It's almost reaching an all-time high in terms of number of addresses who are at a loss uh, because of the uh, kind of lows that Bitcoin is taking. But is there a silver lining to this? Well, the whales are buying the dip. The whales are investing heavily, even as Bitcoin is going sub nineteen thousand um, dollars, and that's a great sign. Right. That means even Michael Saylor, for instance, bought uh, Bitcoin uh, recently. So this is great. Now, the Bank of International Settlements um, on 30th of June released a consolidated paper, which states that approximately one percent of Taiwan capital of 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 the banks in the world can be stored in cryptos. Right. And this is for just Group Two cryptos. Group One cryptos. There is I did not really see a limit in the PDF. So we did an analysis on that. You can watch that in the description, but just to give you a very brief idea of what this means for you, Taiwan capital is about four trillion dollars, right? Even if one percent of that flows into cryptos, which means about forty billion dollars will flow into crypto markets, especially Bitcoin will be benefited from that. In addition to this, this gives a, a vote of confidence for you know other institutional investors like pension funds, high net worth individuals, sovereign wealth funds, etc., to get in as well. So that is great news. Something as important as the Bank of International Settlements, understanding that crypto is, uh, you know, probably the new asset class, and allowing banks to hold that, that itself is great news, and I'm surprised that more people are not talking about it. The IMF, which is another important uh, financial body in the world, they say they are saying that cryptos and CBD, uh, CBDCs can make payments more efficient. In fact, the IMF's chief economist. Uh, uh, you know, went on to say that they don't want a blanket ban on cryptocurrencies, but are calling for a regulation of the sector. So the IMF is also, you know, sort of tilting towards crypto. And then there are countries uh, which are regulating cryptos. If you look at Israel, uh, the regulator has recently come out, uh, or they're just teasing the the crowd with a comprehensive crypto framework to make Israel an attractive destination for crypto entrepreneurs. So that is amazing. Maybe more crypto projects will start taking off in Israel. It is already happening in several other countries that are favorable towards cryptos. Uh, speaking of that, uh, the Central African Republic, which was the second uh, republic or the second country in the world that sort of made Bitcoin a legal tender after El Salvador, the Central African Republic recently uh, launched something called the Sango Coin. It is their national cryptocurrency. What is this Sango Coin? Well, uh, the Uh, the president announced that this might be backed by bitcoin uh, they want to tokenize the country's natural resources which include petroleum diamonds and copper right so they are getting big into this space and they are turning uh, central african republic into a hotbed for cryptos then there's rahul paul right he is also tokenizing something but he's interested he's building something that will help tokenize 63 trillion dollars worth of intangibles what are intangibles intangibles can be like brand If you take Nike for instance, the Nike brand or the the swoosh, the logo itself is worth so much. These are intangibles. There's 63 trillion worth of intangibles sitting in global balance sheets of corporations, and Rahul Paul wants to tokenize all of them. That is huge. Right? If that happens, that that that's a huge impact on the market and for actual use cases of crypto itself. The U.S. millennials are owning more cryptos than mutual funds. This is what a recent survey found. and not just that in fact more than half of the millennials say they would they would be okay getting their salary uh, uh, you know in crypto 36% of millennials and 51% of gen z uh, say they are okay receiving as much as half of their uh, paychecks in digital currencies instead of 
their fiat uh, currencies right? the newer generation the younger generation is moving towards crypto they're embracing it they are adopting it that's a great sign have you heard of this family called the bitcoin family well they're a dutch family that sold some of their assets uh, to purchase cryptos back in probably 2017 uh, they moved to portugal because it's a tax free uh, hub for cryptos and they have been traveling the world after that uh, what have they been up to is what is their investments look like well their investments have taken a little bit of a dip they have sold some of their cryptos uh, but uh, you know even they are believing that it will start to recover and might reach like 140000 by 2025 Right? that's what the crypt the bitcoin family is convinced is your family convinced are you convinced well i don't know but let me show you one more news to help you uh you know if you are convinced then so, uh, the top crypto trader says bitcoin is approaching peak opportunity zone bitcoin is touching lows i personally believe that bitcoin will go down to 14 15000 by maybe august to september sometime in that period this i feel is the bottom of the market that's what i predicted uh in one of my earlier videos and that's what i'm sticking to even now and a, a, a top crypto trader has also mentioned that bitcoin is approaching peak opportunity zone what does that mean for you if it me it means that if you have not bought into bitcoin or if you have not bought any of the cryptos and you want to get in and you were looking for that window then somebody is saying that this is that window do you want to take advantage of it if you uh, you know that's up to you but if you want to please do your own research this video is for educational purposes only it's not financial in, uh, advice so please do your own research before investing because this is an extremely high risk uh, asset class and you could lose all of the investment so just be very careful uh, but what i did in this video is to bring you the most important news in the last few days so that you understand that global organizations regulators countries um you know presidents uh, government authorities to even families and uh, individuals are taking cryptos very seriously if you want to hear more such news analysis um and opinions about cryptos then do subscribe to the wave crypto club if you like this video hit the like button and hit the bell icon subscribe to the channel and tell your friends about it um overall i hope you enjoyed this video do comment on what else you would like me to analyze and i would be happy to do that i would have be happy to take that up in the coming videos welcome to the wave crypto club